Hello there Pixel Pushers, Sadiq Hussain here with another Affinity Photo quick tutorial. Now this time we're going to be looking at an alternative way of increasing the pixel density and the resolution and eventually the size of a uh, of an image, uh, this image here of a um, flooded river in Budley in the Midlands of the UK, uh, lovely village and um, we had a lot of rain recently and uh, the uh, river nearly flooded but the flood defences held uh, which was good uh, but this is an evening shot and um, if I zoom in to these trees here okay and you'll see uh, incidentally this image taken on a um, Canon 550D is only 5000 by 3000 pixels it's sort of a, about an 18 megapixel um, resolution uh, file uh, that's the, the the sensor is 18 megapixels and if I zoom into these two twigs these two branches you can see around about here you can clearly start seeing the squares the pixels of the image okay so just keep that in mind that image there is uh, uh, where we can start seeing the pixels very clearly and if I want to increase the size of that of course the, the obvious way would be going to document and uh, we've we've covered this before uh, but uh, if we go to resize document we can specify um, what the resolution what resolution we want here 300 dpi uh, for print uh, for example it, because because resample is on there it means that if we um, uh, that's going to be uh, 21,000 by 14,000 pixels okay uh, at 300 dpi and we can resize it that way but if we actually want to resize it uh, a different way a quicker way but only it's optimized for print okay so if we go into the same drop down menu document and we've got here pixel resize pixel art document so it's really about printing and the file so pixel art document so this is quick so you can either do it two times three times or four times let's go four times and the um, the method of resampling for the resizing you have got something called uh, hx hqx sorry and xbr don't worry about the acronyms but just take it from me and by all means look it up in the help menu which i'll show you in a moment but the xbr method which is what it defaults to gives you a slightly less jagged slightly smoother end result with the way the pixels are sampled and the hqx gives you a slightly sharper but inherent in that you'll get slightly jagged edges but of course you'd only notice that if you zoom right in or if you blew it up to a huge print and you went up real close to it so at normal viewing distance you wouldn't see that so maybe you'd opt for that but let's just go for this method first and as soon as you press resize it's going to be four size times four just takes a few seconds on this macbook air uh, M1 Air and that is now increased it to 20,000 by nearly 14,000 pixels and that is now 288 megapixel file okay so if we now zoom into the same area of the tree remember when we started to see the pixels was about there now we still can't see them keep zooming in now we can see those pixels so you can see how far we've gone in before we start seeing the pixels meaning there are more pixels there and having more pixels means that you can potentially print it at a larger size uh, which means it will be a, a better suited for a large print so this you could easily take it up to a, uh, a2 or even an a1 print easily so a quick way of resizing it for the purposes of printing it is to go to document and resize pixel art document now if you want to just know a little bit about any of the menus and you're not too sure about it go into the um, help menu of uh, affinity photo and just type in um, resize 
and you can see it's got down here resize pixel art and that actually shows you if you forget where it is if you uh, hover over where you've got the um, the menu items option it shows you by opening up the menu on the left hand side of where it is and it's actually showing you where you can find it which is really good so you know if you said resize canvas it would be there resize document which I showed you as well okay but if we actually want to view the help topic on that we just click that and we just click on resize type that resize and we've got it there so if we just open that up then there you go that just tells you a little bit about it explains basically what I've explained to you but if you want to go into it and sometimes get more detail that tells you about HQX and XBR so that's all really useful so don't forget that the help menu built into Affinity has pretty much covered every ground of every part of the menu that you want to look into so i hope you found that useful very quick uh, video tutorial there i'll be doing a couple more very quick tips um, in the uh, next day or so as well and this one not so much a hidden feature it's there right it right there in plain sight but because of what it's called um, the name of it it's not immediately obvious what it does but it is right next to the resize option and it does re say resize I think it's the art document the part that confuses a lot of people and I had some queries about it so um, I, I, I thought I'd produce a, a, a quick video tutorial on it so thank you for watching hope you found it useful give it a go and uh, as always if you can like subscribe and um, comment that would be really really useful we've now passed the 300 uh, subscribers mark uh, really gone up and one of the videos is, has suddenly gone incredibly crazy the uh, repairing the old photographs um, I'll put a link uh, at the end for that if you want to have a look at that that's uh, really skyrocketed in the number of views just in the last few days so I'm not sure what's going on there so clearly a lot of people are interested in that that might actually prompt me to do a couple more uh, along the similar lines okay see you next time